ganyan. Nanonood ako. Sa kwarto niya ako natutulog pag umuwi ako ng taytay. Nanonood ako ng TV. Ito na, pumasok siya. Ay, nag-text pala muna siya. Ate, dot, dot, dot. Ano yung dot, dot, dot? Hindi nga nagsalita. Sabi ko, oh. bakit? Akala ko to may chismis, may kwento, may nalaman akong ano. So, hinindi ko na lang. Mamaya, ito na, bumubukas ng pinto. So, ako nakahiga <laughs> sa kama. Sabi niyo, Hindi ko na kaya! Akala ko nabibiro! <laughs> bakit ganun yung accent? Ay, <laughs> sobrang ang sakit! <laughs> Oy, umi... Sabi ka naman naiiyak. Naiiyak daw siya. Huwag ka na umiyak. Ganun talaga ang buhay. <laughs> oh, oh, naiiyak siya. Kailan lang yan? Huwag ka na umiyak, maiiyak tuloy ako. Kasi umiyak din ako. Umiyakin siya. Pag ganun ko. Sabi, Sabi niya, <laughs> Bakit? Nag-iiyak ka kami talaga sa iyo. Awa-awa na ako kay Catherine. Sabi na, Private establishments, essential goods and services. Essential po ba si Lugaw? Oh, ano Hindi. Po? Kasi mabubuhay ang tao na walang lugaw, ang essential, tubig, gatas, groceries. Pagkain po yun, ma'am. Pagkain po yun, ma'am. Hindi na. E di sana lahat ng pagkain bukas. Ito si polis, paliliwanagang kayo ni polis. Okay? Naiintindihan po. Naiintindihan. Okay? Tapos, may nakasulat din tayo dito, sir, na... Uh, ang po pwede lang, provision of foods and essential. Hindi essential si Lugaw. Sana bukas din si bakery. Naintindihan? Okay. Ano pa pa dito? Kasi may permit naman po sila, ma'am. Lahat sa po may permit, sir. Na, Lahat may permit. Po sila, allowed po may ni-implement kasi tayo na curfew hours, sir. Hindi po essential si Lugaw. Now, what's this? That's top si Lug. Oh. This is tapa and this is it, Lug. Where's the sea? Nakalimutan ko magluto ng sinanga. Oh. Kaya ginawa ko, pinakain ko ng sinelas. Sabi ko, the sea is sinelas. Oh, you eat the sinelas. The tapas, sinelas ang ito. Kinain niya naman yung sinelas. Oh. <laughs> ano nga ba yung sinangag? Makatawa ka, alam mo, nagkakaunawaan kami. Yung pala, hindi niya. Fried rice yung sinangag! Ah, uh, it sounds like a sabaw. <laughs> Ikaw ang sabaw, girl! Ikaw nga, sabaw. Sinigang yun. Sinigang. Alam ko yung sinigang, pero yung sinaag. O, oh, sinaag pa. Sinaag, sinaag, sinaag. Isa pang ganyan, ikaw sinapak ka sa akin, mangaya. Yung tunog niya, parang parang pwede mo siya isup. Yung sinangag is rice. Oo. Oh, oh. Got it.
Nag-audition ako. Nakikwento ko sa inyo, maganda yung story na yon. So, mga, I think mga 12 ata ako, mga 11 years old ako. Dito sa audience entrance ng abs event. syempre maraming bata roon. Nagpatawag sila, audition, ganitong edad, punta naman ako. 11 ka niyan. Oo, oh, 11 ako. Hanggang sa sinabi, hila, huling bukas na lang ho ng gate, kung sino ho yung makakapasok, yun na lang ho makapag-audition. Sabi ko, ah, sinusubok nyo kami ha. Ah. So, eto na, pag bukas uli ng gate, balyahan kami lahat. Matanong ko, ilan tong nag-audition? Ang dami! Halos napuno yung buong stretch ng audience entrance doon, yung buong kalsada. Napuno talaga. Nakapasok ka naman? Nakapasok ako, nabagsakan nga ako ng gate sa ulo. Pero okay lang. Ah, yung lang. gate bumabagsa, sa bab- yung, yung buba- binababa? Yung ginagano nila! Binagsak! Aray! Pa- Could your son be like that or you don't, you don't want your son to be like you? My son should choose whoever he wants to be, Chito. Wow. He should choose that. He should. It's not me. I only bore him. Mm-hmm. I only bore him with a prayer that he will be ten times worse than me. Right. In passion, in service to others, in fighting for this country, mm-hmm. in being a good man, in being a well-bred young man mm-hmm. who is in touch with his emotions, who is not toxic in his masculinity, mm-hmm. who may choose to be gay, You're fine with it. Absolutely. You love gay people. Of course. Kagwa ko sa kung anak, if he chooses to be gay, laban zay. Kaya kung pangit ka, balik lang, tas ka straight. Balik lang. Take yourself too seriously to care about what you put on your back, but what you don't know is that that sweater is not just blue, it's not turquoise, it's not lapis, it's actually cerulean. And you're also blithely unaware of the fact that in 2002, Oscar de la Renta did a collection of cerulean gowns. And then I think it was Yves Saint Laurent, wasn't it, who showed cerulean military jackets? I think we need a jacket here. Mm. And then cerulean quickly showed up in the collections of eight different designers. And then it uh, filtered down through the department stores and then trickled on down into some tragic casual corner where you no doubt fished it out of some clearance bin. However, that blue represents millions of dollars and countless jobs. And it's sort of comical how you think that you've made a choice that exempts you from the fashion industry when in fact you're wearing a sweater that was selected for you by the people in this room from a pile of stuff. Thank you.